The array from function is going to let you create a new array from an iterable object, okay? Now, what does this mean? Well, things like strings or node list or maps or sets, those iterable objects, you can create arrays from them. As an example, I've got a, uh, a username here and let's build an array from this string. We'll say const username as array equal to array dot from and pass in the username. I'll console log what the, uh, the array looks like here and we can see we get a new element for every single character inside the string because the string iterator iterates on each character, okay? Now, what's also handy is that you can provide a map function as well. For example, I want to make an array from this username but capitalize each character. We can say character like this, uh, you know, as an arrow function in the second argument, okay? And I can say return character dot to uppercase like this. I'll save this run the script again, and we get capital for those characters. Now, where this comes in handy in front-end development specifically would be things like a node list. You can do something like this. I'll say const, uh, let's just do list items equal to document dot query selector all and then pass in here the ally uh, selector. As you may know, this here is going to return every single list item tag on the page in the form of a node list. And if you ever tried looping over a node list before, it can be a bit tricky. Uh, you do have for each which you can use, but if you need it to be an array, you can do it very easily. You can just say const list items as array equal to array dot from and pass that in right there. And from here, you're going to get the list items in the form of an array instead. So you can call your array methods on it directly. And that is all for this one. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to Decode. And here is another video.